Hey there everybody, I'm back for another tutorial. Hopefully this one doesn't turn out as uh, crappy quality as the last one. I'm thinking about redoing the whole thing because the mic is just... Uh, you can't even tell what it's saying. Uh, so I made some basic uh, improvements to this map. added a little bit here. As you can see, uh, this is very simple to do. And if you don't know how to do it, I recommend you go watch a uh, basic source tutorial like I said in the uh, first video. Uh, topics I'm going to cover in this episode are uh, going to talk about basic uh, weapon entities and how to lay them down so the player can come over and pick up ammo or a different weapon for a different situation. <laughs> or uh, And we're going to talk about uh, basic triggerable events, including little help uh, uh, dialogues that will pop up above the player's head and uh, spawning aliens. Let's go ahead and get started. We're going to make a new entity here. Uh, we're gonna start out with making a weapon entity. So once again I'm going to redirect you guys back to the Valve Developer Wiki because they have another great source for this and it's uh, a list of all the entities new to Alien Swarm and it lists all the equipment out because I don't remember entities very well so I use this a lot. So here let's pick uh, let's do the sentry. So ASW underscore pickup underscore sentry. Let's go over to our entity tool. Type in ASW underscore pickup underscore sentry. I just click anywhere to drop that, and there it is. It's already uh, rooted over to the correct world model and everything, so the player can now come over and interact with this and pick it up and uh, swap it for a weapon. So now we're going to set up a trigger event and an alien spawn. So first, let's come over here to entities and type in ASW underscore spawner. Pretty simple. Then just click anywhere to make it, and let's select it and double click on it. So let's name it, uh, let's see here, what alien we're going to do. We're going to do drone, so drone underscore spawn. How about that? So then, under uh, activity for alien orders we're going to put in move to nearest marine and we're going to uh, set spawn point as clear to yes that should always be like that number of live aliens set that to two and then number of aliens that we can create set that to five do not let it infinitely spawn aliens, unless, of course, you want it to infinitely spawn aliens. That's pretty simple. Uh, let's keep the spawn intervals how they are. And change the spawner state to wait for inputs. One real quick change uh, to the uh, spawner I almost forgot about is uh, because this map is rather small, let's change prevent spawn if marines are this close down to zero and long sight range to yes. This is just to ensure that they spawn correctly. Also, make sure that it's above the ground. And then everything else should be able to stay the same. Should all work just fine. Hit apply. Now let's come over here. Let's create a new brush. Uh, with the brush tool. Just click and drag. Make it bigger. Let's browse for the texture tools slash tools trigger. And hit enter. So now we have our little trigger box. 
which is not quite filling the whole thing. There we go. So we have our little trigger box here. So let's hit Control T on it, and we're going to change it to we're going to change it to trigger underscore once. This means that when the player runs over it, it only triggers once. Then it'll stop triggering. That way you can't just run over it multiple times and make the spawn happen. Well, multiple times. So let's hit apply because this screen doesn't quite show it, uh, display the correct options until you hit apply for whatever reason when you change the class name. And let's uh, go over to outputs and add two, no, sorry, not two, one new output. And let's put on on trigger. Target the entity to drone spawn. Then we're going to put on start spawning. And make sure it fires. Well, it should already fire only once. But let's just make sure it does, just in case. Because this is a one time trigger, but we might want to make sure it only fires once, just in case. So hit apply. And if we did it correctly, we should be able to come over here, double click on this, click on inputs, and it is indeed here. So we did it correctly. And now we're going to talk about how to make messages display on the HUD, whether it be at spawn, which in this case we are going to do it right over where the player spawns, so that when he spawns in we can give him a little welcome message to our map. Or also, when you trigger this event, if you have, you can put in multiple triggers instead of just that one output, and have it also display a message that the aliens are coming for you.